channel I'm Jayla Corian if you're new if you're not welcome back girl so today I'm giving you guys a peek into my entrepreneurial life and what I do with my business and where I'm at and what I'm trying to do my dog is not happy that I locked him out what are you whining about what are you whining about come on so yeah, being an entrepreneur is not glamorous. I'm in my bonnet, I am in my, you know, fuzzy socks, I'm at my computer, I have some breakfast, I'm just eating some like chicken noodle soup and I have my little cup of um, apple juice, but this is kind of like what I do when I wake up. I wake up, I have some soup, cause I don't really, I'm not really a morning eater. I'd rather have some soup that makes me happy, so that's what I'll do. I'll answer some emails. By now, Carrie has already like woke up texting me about glam textures and just things that we need to do and I'm like responding back to him and yeah, basically. All right, so on today's to-do list for my business, I am trying to build business credit. I have a great personal credit, over 700 um, credit score but I don't have any business credit and honestly before six months ago I didn't even know it was such a thing as building business credit if you're new and you didn't know I am the owner of glam textures I started it my senior year of college like my last semester and it was really really fun however starting it when you are what 21 22 years old you don't know everything about having a business i've learned a lot over the last two years of just trial and error and being like oh i did something and it didn't actually work out and that just comes with business but i've grown so much since then and my business also has to grow as well you know so just knowing a lot more about actually having a business in the behind the scenes um i'm getting the foundation of having a business together now um i kind of just when i first started was just like yeah i'm doing this but i didn't have anyone to tell me like the proper way to do this and the legal way to do that and you know those type of things so i'm building my business credit um for the past two years basically my company has been funded solely for me and um as far as like marketing photo shoots whatever um whatever the business made we'll use that and then if it's something extra that i want to do i will in always end up putting my personal cash up for it you know basically i want business credit to be able to have more cash flow to do more things within the business to scale it and to grow the business basically so the first step with building your business credit you're going to want to register your business name whether you have an llc or a corporation you want to make sure that you do that now every state is different i would not be able to give you guys advice on how to go about this but just look up how to register your business name and get an llc in whatever state you're in um new york was a hassle to get an llc in i've had an llc in north carolina um and new york was just a little bit more complicated one because it it was like six hundred dollars and then on top of that you have to be ran in a publication basically like a magazine um for 60 days 90 days something like that before your llc is like you know legit so every state is different is <laughs> different but girl that's your first step that you have to do the second step is you're going to want to get a 1-800 solely for your business not a cell phone number not anything else a 1-800 number you can google it to find um you're basically going to pay like something every month to have a 1-800 number but that is going to add to your credibility as a business and having business credit 
The next step is you are going to need a business location. Now, every business does not have an actual location. Um, so if you don't have a location, you're going to want to get a virtual office. Now, with a virtual office, you're basically going to be paying a monthly price to um, have an address, a business address, and you can get mail shipped to this particular address. Um, this is a lot cheaper than actually having to, like, buy an office space at WeWork or something like that. So they do have virtual office spaces that you can pay for. I think it's like $40 a month and you have a business address and mail and stuff can be shipped to you. Now let me tell you the importance of having a virtual office or a store office type of location. The importance of this is when you um, you know, are doing things with your business and you're typing in your address, all of this is public records. So you do not want to put your home address, your apartment address, and you can't use a P.O. box to get all this mail and stuff sent to you. Um, and you don't want your home address to be public records because anybody can look that information up. So that is why it is important to have a virtual office type of thing that your address is not being exposed to the world because someone can look that up. The next thing that you're gonna need is an EIN number, and an EIN number is basically a number that is associated with your business. You typically get this when you file your company to be an LLC or um, whatever corporation you're filing under, you'll get an EIN number. Now this is how I use my EIN number. My EIN number is used mainly for taxes purposes. So if I'm doing something with my business, getting your um, business checking account, that's the next thing that I was gonna go into. The next thing you're gonna need is a business checking account. You can sign up for a business account at basically all banks nowadays. I think credit unions don't have business accounts, but Bank of America, Chase, all of them have business accounts. You're gonna need to file for your um, LLC, get your EIN number, and that is how you will be able to get a business checking account. Now this business bank account is everything business. You're gonna link your Shopify or whatever website that you use for payments to go directly to it. You're gonna hook up your business PayPal. All the money is gonna be in one spot. It's gonna be easy to make maintain easy to see what's coming in what's coming out and how much money you have left over at the end of the month for marketing and putting back into your business um, when you first start a company um, you're not going to be making that much money so you know you want to not touch the account so that's how I can see you know how the business is doing and all that you also the longer you're with the bank you can get approved for um, you know credit money cash to you know use and pay back the next thing that you're going to do if you haven't did it already is you are going to want to create a website and add your 1-800 number and your business address to the website so if you don't have a website girl go ahead and get your website and then if you do have your ad website make sure you add your 1-800 number and your address to the website once you've done all of that the next step is going to be for you to create a duns and brad street number this is going to be like the first step of creating your or building your business credit and basically with this make sure that you have your virtual office address because you're going to put that address when signing up for this done in Bradstreet number do I have the only dog that Harlem wants to be in the room with me like in the room making noise he know I'm talking about him look my dog knows what I'm talking about hi Harlem hi Harlem knows what I'm talking about him. Look at this bedroom. Look what you look what he did to mommy's shoe. So once you've done all of those things and you apply for your Dun & Bradstreet number, it's gonna take about 30 days for you to get the number. Once you get the number, you're going to want to go to like office supplies or office type of uh, companies and you're going to want to like make a purchase on the site and you're going to want to use the like net 30 days to pay don't pay with your own money you're going to want to pay with like some type of credit because now you'll be using your credit number like your Dun & Bradstreet number and your EIN number to make purchases you're not using your personal 
number. So don't put in your own social security number. You're only putting in your business information when making purchases from now on with your business. Now with everything that I'm saying in this video, you can definitely look up Dunn and Bradstreet to get more information. But basically when making these purchases, it reports to Dunn and Bradstreet and that is how you're basically going to be building your business credit. Now the importance of building business credit is because you can get more capital, more cash than you could with your personal credit. So by doing this, you can easily get $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $200,000 to put into your business by building this credit. Now, of course, with credit, it's not yours. You have to pay it back. So it's not something that you just do and like, oh, I'm getting free money. No, this is money to put towards your business to try to make that money back, pay that, and then some, you know? So that whole process is what glam textures is going through right now so we have more money to put into marketing um in addition to that i've talked about basically building a team and how hard it is be building a team and i have um you know someone worked with me on glam textures they're in training right now and i'm i'm focusing on this training and stuff because i need the people on my team to know just as much or if not more than me for you know everything to run smoothly i'm one person and i a long time ago d threw in the towel and said i can't do this by myself um but when you're first starting off know what you can do and what you cannot do i'm at the point where i know for a fact there's things that i just cannot do i just do not have enough time to dedicate to every single little thing and i have to you know give it to someone else for them to do so um i have someone in training and i'm super excited okay perfect can i have your name and your email so i can send over the paperwork at gmail.com okay that's perfect i'll go ahead and send you all the information that you need your email um do you have questions for me right now no that's all okay perfect i'll go ahead and send this right over okay thank you so much thank you Bye -bye. Pretty simple. All you need to do is activate your the PayPal account on give me the PayPal information and I'll just add it. Harlem, what are you doing? Harlem, what are you doing? No. Mm -mm. don't come to me now the next thing that I've been up to is um, creating new boxes for glam textures now packaging is huge for glam textures because we started off with this really really cute box um, let me see if I have a box here I do have a box I have like an old box this is so here is the original like glam textures box it says feel glam in every texture and this is what our customers loved they love the experience they love the packaging they love how it made them feel and we did switch and try a few different packaging options so when you're thinking about doing like custom packaging for your business this costs money it has to be added to the price that the customer pays because these are not cheap you know um versus like the regular white mailers that just go out those are a lot cheaper so keep that in mind so glam textures has tried a little bit of every we did the just regular white mailers i feel like it wasn't customized it wasn't it just wasn't what our customers that purchased with us wanted we switched to um these pink mailers I have used these frequently with a lot of other things I did it's still cute a cheaper alternative if you know you don't have the funds to keep these boxes in stock and you also have to put these boxes together it takes a little bit extra time versus just putting it in a slip so when we switched to the pink mailers we did have our like little flyers that went into it um, I stopped doing like the little satin bags because the satin bags was mostly for like our raw hair because it didn't come in plastic wraps um, and we want to keep the hair you know looking nice so we don't do the little satin bags anymore but 
um, I decided to bring back the boxes because I don't know I just feel like it's very unique and special to the company and it's just what I wanted to bring back like you know so I had to make an order for the boxes boxes do take longer and then I also had to design the box because the person that I used to design these boxes two years ago um, doesn't do boxes anymore so I was like dang like how do I find another company how do I design this so let me take you guys in a little peek of the boxes behind the scenes so I'm gonna first show you basically me designing the boxes, trying to come up with a new box scheme. Ultimately, I decided that I really liked the original boxes and I wanted to keep the original boxes. So this was a design that I first came out with and then, then I was like, okay, maybe I do like the pink on the outsides. I sent the picture of the original box. Um, I decided to add something um, on the inside flap but when you opened it um, but then I was just playing around with the different details of the inside of the box the outside of the box um, yeah more stuff on the inside you know just different designs I want to put some text on it so yeah I really do like designing some stuff so this was actually fun to me I was actually in Vegas when I was doing all of this and then ultimately I got this design that I was like, okay, I really like. So this is what like my proof looks like of me designing it. I found a company that um, I could kind of do this. I don't recommend this company just because they are a little bit more expensive, but I just needed it for this. Like I needed to be able to design it and have this like proof so that I could send off and actually get the design that I want made. Um, as you guys can, I think I did really good with like, um, designing this and like imitating what the original box was because it does have this like little design on it. I used the same image logo. I had to find, I think a new font like this, but I think it's similar. So let me show you. Um, as you can see, I got a similar design already used my logo this is the image that's on the original box and then feel glam in every texture i had to find a similar font to the one that was currently used um these are graphics that i already have that are already on my site so the we love for you to see you glammed up install snap and tag with our social media handles and email and stuff i been had this so it's really easy to put on the box and then these are some of our brazilian textures brazilian deep wave brazilian straight and our famous you know blonde 613 hair so this is kind of like the overview of what the box is going to look like when it's finished you know really similar and um this is the inside so the inside flap just has glam textures logo the inside of the box oh here's a better one so that is what you know the box will look like in the end when I get it back the old boxes didn't have anything in the inside at all so it was just a plane on the inside of the box by just trying different things with my company I know for a fact now that this is something that our customers want this is something they look forward to when they open their packaging and this is what they want so out with <laughs> out with the traditional mailers but this was a great start um, just where my company is now we have to have the boxes we gotta have the glam boxes the glam boxes have to we have to have them so those should be stopped soon and yeah I'm always like trying to find cheaper um, what am I always trying to find I'm always trying to find cheaper ways to do things so these boxes um, currently trying to figure out how to get the cost lower 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 like how much do I have to order to you know not have an ex like you know a ten dollar box ten dollar per box you know I want the cost to be like four dollars a box or three dollars a box you know so that's that literally when it, working with people um it's 11 28 here but LA time is three hours ahead so it just depends so while I'm up and I'm working sometimes when I have a business call or something it's either they're not up yet or it's later on in the day and it ends up that I'm working past like six o'clock because of their time. It just depends. 
definitely when communicating like with china or stuff like that the time difference is way off so that's that that's with the packaging it's kind of like always something to be done like it's always something that can be fixed it's always something that i have to do it's always you know it's just always something that comes with it i finally just got this email that i needed to complete this forms so what I'm about to do is I'm about to fill out these forms. I really hope this video was informative to you guys and you like this kind of like bossing up with Jayla type of videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be coming on these videos like super glam when I have some information to share to you guys or I think that you guys um, could possibly use it if you're starting a business. I'll definitely like hop on. We'll just be at my computer and that is how these videos would do. Um, let me know if you guys have any more information that you guys want from me or um, any other like business type of questions because I will be doing this more often and yeah I'm about to like actually get some work done now I have a few more things that I have to do hop on a few phone calls but thank you guys for tuning in bye guys